Hey, how you doing? It's me, Tim the Bartender. Welcome to Tim's Take. What I got for you today is the Golden Corral and dumpster food. <laughs> Stay tuned. Brandon Huber. I'm an employee at the Golden Corral right here out in Port Orange, Florida. 907 Taylor Branch Road. Um, right now, we're currently undergoing an inspection. Right now, I'm walking around the building. I just left the front door. I'm walking up to the dumpster. Apparently, what my company likes to do to get ready for inspections is put their food by the dumpsters. So, I'm outside. Here's the dumpster area. I'm walking into it right now. And this is what my company likes to do with their food for inspection. This hamburger meat. Look at all these flies. This is disgusting. All this food. All these baby back ribs. To me, this is disgusting. This is what my company likes to do to get ready for inspection. They like to put their food by the dumpster. I'm an employee here, been working here for a long time, and I don't feel that this is right. Hey, am I the only one who noticed how Brandon looked behind him? Rewind that real quick. That's crazy. Rewind. Inspection. They like to put their food by the dumpster. I'm an employee here, been working here for a long time, and I don't feel that this is right. <laughs> it's almost like Brandon thought they were going to walk up behind him and whack him or something. Soprano style. <laughs> My bad. Keep it going. Keep it going. Inspection. They like to put their food by the dumpster. I'm an employee here, been working here for a long time, and I don't feel that this is right. I mean, look at it. What do you think? No? Daylight. Out here. Dumpster. Let me get a little closer. Let me show you just how disgusting this is. You know, all you can eat ribs by the dumpster. All you can eat ribs by the dumpster. Green bean casserole. All your patty melts. Your pot roast meat. Your chicken. Your ham. Your bacon. Your gravy. <laughs> this shit ain't funny. This shit is disgusting. It's disgusting. Man, that's why I've been saying for years I will not eat at Golden Corral. Matter of fact, I do not like any buffets. I do not like buffets for this very reason. You don't know about the food, how long the food's been sitting out. There's no way to determine how long food's been sitting there. The other thing with it is people are nasty, man. You know people are nasty, don't wash their hands, and you're eating behind people, people putting their finger in your macaroni. People plucking boogers in your in your mashed potatoes. Note this for you Golden Corral people who love Golden Corral. Gotta have you some Golden Corral on Sunday after church. All right? Notice, the owner of the franchise says that they fired the manager immediately. There's also other information coming out saying that uh, Brandon and his dad tried to store money. They, they wanted $5,000 for the video, and it was refused. Guy wasn't going to pay that. Golden Corral made a statement, their statement, they say that none of the food was served to not a single customer, and even the guy Brandon Huber was part of the disposal of the food. I don't know, man. I don't know what to believe. I really don't. Brandon says they were about to undergo a health inspection, and they were told to put the food out there to hide the food from health inspection, which will lead you to believe that it's possible the food was already something wrong with the food, or why would you put the food out there in the bays next to the dumpster? The only way you could really know is Brandon would have kept filming. If he would have kept filming and showing that food come back into the restaurant, then we'd really have him. This one lady, you know, she was pissed that Brandon told on Golden Corral. She's like, I'm sure he worked there and he didn't do anything while he was working there. I'm like, do you care what a person's motivation is for blowing a whistle? Or do you just care about the whistle getting blown? I do not blame Brandon Huber. I blame Brandon. Eric Snowden. That's right. Eric Snowden is your fault. You started this blowing the whistle craze. You know, people don't appreciate anything. What if Brandon selling the truth? What if he's telling the truth? What could he gain? Maybe, maybe he's a disgruntled employee, but maybe he's not. 
That's the thing. What if he's not lying? What if he's telling you the truth? Shit. What, what if you caught food poisoning there? Wouldn't you have liked to have known the risk of catching that? Ah. I don't know. Some people you can't please no matter what you do. Okay. Will you continue to eat at Golden Corral buffets? Or any other buffet chain? I won't be in there, and it's not just because of this, because I never did before, but if you like to go to buffets and get the all-you-can-eat specials, maybe you will. That's my take. I will not be doing it. This is Tim's take. That's how I feel about it. Tell me how you feel about it. Hit me up at Tim Bartender on Twitter or email me at uh, TimTakesLive at Tim Bartender or Tim at TimBartender.com. Damn you, Eric Snowden. Look at the trouble you started. The greatest fear that I have regarding um, the outcome uh, for America of these disclosures is that nothing will change. 